Hey everybody, well tonight we're going to go from where we're at with the circuit board project. Uh, I got the initial routings put on for the 5 volt, the ground, and the 12 volt buses. And tonight we're going to work on actually wiring up the MUX uh, and see how far we can make it with that. So what I have with me, let me set down the camera here. We have uh, the original schematic or layout that we have that we've been working towards. And then I went and I downloaded the data sheet for the MUX. And on it, the thing that I really needed to know is right here. Here's my model number, and it tells me where pin number one is at right here. And then it tells me each of the pinouts, so what each of the pins are. And I need this to make sure. I already did this once, but since the layout changed a little bit, now I need to make sure that each of the signals goes to the correct place. So, for example, ammonia. Uh, sensor is going to go to pin 1 and then the one wire is actually digital it goes to the digital bus uh, the PAR sensor is going to go to uh, pin number 4 temperature and humidity goes to pin 5 etc 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 so uh, we're going to go through slowly and make sure that I get each one of these uh, correctly soldered up uh, this evening and hopefully by the end I'll have a mux that's actually all wired up so let's get started Okay, so here we are. I've got my first end of a sensor wire connected right here. Closer there. Right there. Now I need to connect it to the MUX. And I am finding these little wires with my hands to be absolutely horrendous to work with. So major props to all of you who do this every day because this ain't easy now I just need to get trying to get that solder that I used to there we go solder I used to tack the mux down with just needed to get it hot enough so that I can tack it down, oh geez there it comes of course yeah, I definitely have no idea what I'm doing here, but I think it's going to work, so I'm not too too worried about it. There we go. Okay, there it is. I use this little red wire right here just to mark where pin number one is at, this one right here. Purely there because I want to know that that's pin one and not lose where I'm at on the board. So I'm going to leave these big wires on. These are the capacitor wires right here. I'm going to leave those on until the very end. So now I need to route one, two, three, four more on this side and then I have the sensors on the other side to do. So I'm going to get started on that. Let's see what we got going on here. Got the first side of sensors done. Uh, with the exception of the one wire sensor which we'll wire up another time just trying to get the mux put together tonight so I have let's see here this is the ammonia sensor this is the photosynthetic absorbable radiation sensor the PAR sensor and this is the temperature and humidity sensor and this wire is wired to the wrong place this is supposed to go to the digital output so Hey, this is why we do these double checks here. So I need to desolder that and move it over to that side. So my mistake on that one, but all in all, things look pretty good. So I'll get that all fixed. Oh, and this little wire right here, this is cross-bridging the two outputs uh, for the multiplexer so that they'll go out on a single analog channel. So this is an output for this side, this is an output for this side, but none of these will ever be on at the exact same time. So I'm going to be bridging them together and uh, sending out a signal signal, a single signal that will then go through the uh, capacitors here and out on the other side of the board. So let's get to work. I've been able to do. I'm learning as I go. I learned that if you put the solder on the wire before you put it on the board, they all stick a lot easier. So let's see here. We got the signals over on this side. One, two, three, and then. This signal here is a digital signal, so it's going to our digital out. And then uh, I crossed these two. This is the actual output here, this pin right here. 
Might have some cross solder in there. I'm going to have to put the ohm meter on that one, make sure nothing's going bad. I got to put the ohm meter on everything, really. And I got a signal up here. That's a one wire signal, so it's not soldered yet. Here's another signal going into the MUX. This is power coming into the MUX, so I'm taking off the 5 volt bus, bringing power to the 4.7 volt uh, resistor for one wire, and then running power over into uh, the MUX. So there's the update now. I got to wire up one, two more sensors to the MUX, and then we're good. It's been almost uh, two hours since I started, so the power and magic of editing makes this bearable, I'm sure. At least more bearable. So here's what we got going on. Uh, we got green wires represent the signals. And then these two are digital signals going into the MUX, which will control which channel is which. Uh-oh. One wire just came across. The blue lines are one wire. Red is 5 volts. Yellow represents the analog out for the MUX, and it's going across a capacitor, and black represents the ground. And then everything is headed out here to the outputs. So just got to fix this one little one right here, and then it's time to start doing some ohm testing. Now we're going to try to do some voltage, some ohm testing here on the MUX. So actually I think I'm going to start with one wire here. Here we go. Good. And good. And good. Okay, so the one wire is connected well. I do positive here and positive here. There we go. So five volts is coming in. One last check here. No, our signals. Signals are good. Good. Yep, we're good. Okay, snip these off here. There we go. And there it is. Board number one, at least to this point. So, that's it for tonight. Hey everybody, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. If you want to get notified when we do new videos, make sure you click that little bell to the left of the subscribe. In the meantime, this is Real Martian, out.